This is my 1995 Subaru Sandbar. This is an inline four cylinder supercharged engine. It puts out about, uh, if I remember the statistics, it's like 64 horsepower. Uh, vehicle weight is about 1500 pounds, so it's it picks up and goes pretty good. Uh, but this walk around is just going to go over some of the stuff that uh, has been done to the vehicle. Um, I'm in North Carolina in the United States, so uh, we're lucky enough to only require a rear license plate. So I had a custom made um, front license plate. I have an old LED light that I put out on the front here for uh, an always on uh, DRL, uh, just for a little bit of added safety. Uh, I did recently replace the uh, turn signal lens cover, so they're they're brand new. Uh, might be able to see it in there. There's an LED side marker, HID headlights. Uh, these are Watanabe eight-spoke F8 wheels. They're 14-inch wheels, five by five. Uh, offsets plus 45 with the Cannonball center cap and uh, Avalanche or Hercules Avalanche RT winter tires to give a little bit of an off-road look uh, which works out really nice. I like the way the vehicle handles with them. Uh, I did the uh, wood side paneling bed extenders just to give me a little bit more uh, capacity for dumping. It's got a Linex bed liner, a saw haul chainsaw carrier, a cargo net that you see there is actually an army surplus cargo net that I picked up on uh, a website so we continue to move around the back side it is a dump truck i'll show you that in a second that back area is uh, access to the engine you can see the exhaust coming out the side here's the battery and a first aid kit uh, that's something that i mounted there were two steel mounts on the frame already that i'm not sure what they were for but they were just hanging there with four holes in them and i said ah oh, that looks like great place for a first aid kit. I've also put these old fog lights in there but I haven't wired them up yet. I don't even know if they're going to stay there. I was just playing around one day. And then the cab spoiler is uh, custom made as well. A nice nice little touch to the vehicle it was specifically designed to make sure the dump bed would operate mm -hmm. fully and properly. Uh, and of course, being a JDM vehicle, this is a right-hand drive. Now, what's also really nice about this vehicle is the previous owner had already done some really nice things and taken really good care of it. So inside, we have the a wooden steering wheel, which I really like. I have removed the stereo. Um, but everything else about the sandbar is pretty standard. 5 speed, extra low. Never understood those kind of cars. But anyway, 5 speed, push button four wheel drive, air conditioning, and one thing that is also a luxury in these vehicles is the locking differential. So, a lot of cool things going on in this truck. And, oh, the other thing that's really neat is this key, the one on the right. That is uh, an aftermarket key, obviously, and it's interesting in Japan, these are kind of like fashion statements. And this is a rather nice one. Uh, so it's kind of interesting, some of the things that you learn about when, when you pull one of these things out. Uh, the, it's an old phone that I have right there, a G7, Moto G7 phone that's mounted. And all I use it for is GPS, uh, mile per hour ratings. Uh, obviously, it's a um, the speedometer is in kilometers. So just to help me out a little bit, uh, I just downloaded an app and used that on the phone. The other options on this vehicle, or not really options, but the way these came equipped were these... Um, these mirrors are on the more luxury vehicles um, of these of these type. The, the the sandbar vans always had these, but with the trucks, this was kind of the the higher trim level. 
that had those mirrors. That's about it, other than the 35% window tint all around and a UV tint on the entire inside of the front windshield, uh, just to make sure the interior isn't damaged by any of the, the lights, the UV light down here in North Carolina. Uh, that's the complete walk around of the vehicle as far as it goes, and uh, I'll just leave it at that. Oh, let's let's do the dump. Right, we want to see the dump. So, let's do the dump. It does require the power to be on. And here we go. So as you can tell, it gets pretty vertical. It's really nice. The two-way back door is really cool. So that provides a lot of space for the contents to be dumped. Oh, I also forgot to mention the Gorilla Off-Road Company coilovers. Now in the back it's a separate coil and spring, fully adjustable. In the front it is a coil over shock that you would expect. I think you can see that. It's kind of hard to tell. And like I said, there's the always on LED for a little added safety. That is the walk around of the 95 Sandbar Supercharged Dump Truck.